So then what about uh, Beyond Mars? So uh, as we thought about the system, and the reason we call it a system, because generally I don't like calling things systems because everything's a system, including your dog, um, the, is, that, um, is that it's actually more than a vehicle. Um, there's, there's obviously the rocket booster, the spaceship, uh, the tanker, and the propellant uh, plant, the, pro pro um, the in-situ propellant production. Um, if you have all of those four elements, um, you, you can actually go anywhere in the solar system by, by, by planet hopping or, or moon hopping. So by establishing a propellant depot on, in the asteroid belt or on one of the moons of Jupiter, um, you can go to, you can make flights uh, from uh, Mars to Jupiter, no problem. Um, in fact, even from, even without a propellant depot at Mars, you can, you can do a flyby of, of Jupiter uh, without a propellant depot. Um, so, but, but by establishing a propellant depot, um, uh, let's say, you know, you know Enceladus or Europa or, or any of those few, few options, um, and then doing another one on Titan, uh, Jupiter, uh, Saturn's moon, um, and then perhaps another one uh, further out um, on Pluto uh, or elsewhere in the solar system. Um, th this system really gives, gives you freedom to go anywhere you want in the greater solar system. So you can actually travel out to the Kuiper Belt, to the Earth cloud. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for um, interstellar journeys, but uh, this, uh, this, this basic system, provided we have filling stations along the way, um, is, means full access to the entire greater solar system.